In this video, we're still going to be predicting products, but we're going to be performing something called the net ionic equation. Now, if you're asked to complete a net ionic equation, it will probably be involving a double replacement reaction. So we've seen double replacement reactions before. In fact, this example here is one that we did in a previous video. So I'm just going to kind of click through these steps quickly. If you'd like further instruction on how to do this reaction, um, be sure to watch the video um, from before. Remember, sodium comes in, it bumps out calcium, and that makes sodium iodide and calcium sulfate. Then we write the formulas. And of course, our two reactants are soluble. And then we look up both of these products in the solubility guidelines. We discover that sodium iodide is soluble and calcium sulfate is the precipitate. So this is nothing more here than a um, double replacement reaction. Now we're going to take it one step further and complete a net ionic equation. So what does it mean if a salt has AQ written after it? Well, you'll recall that that means that the salt is soluble and that it dissolves in water. And you know that when a salt dissolves in water, that it splits up. So for example, sodium sulfate, when it dissolves in water, will split up into sodium and sulfate. How many sodiums do we have? That's right, we have two of them. So when sodium sulfate dissolves, it splits up into two sodiums and one sulfate. Notice that the SO4, or the sulfate, that doesn't break apart. What breaks apart is the sulfate breaking apart from the sodium. And then calcium iodide is also soluble, so that breaks up into one calcium and two iodide ions. Similarly, sodium iodide is soluble, and you can see we have two sodiums and two iodides. So now all of these are ions floating around in the water. These would be invisible to your, to your eye if you were looking at a beaker. However, the calcium sulfate, that's a precipitate or a solid that's lying on the bottom of the beaker. So that would be visible, um, and it in fact has not split up. It's a solid. Now you've heard the word net before. For those of you that, that um, receive a paycheck, you know that you have gross pay and then you have net pay. Your gross pay, that's the total amount before taxes and social security um, and whatever else is taken out. And what you're left with, the part that you bring home, that's called your net pay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and cancel out or take away things that appear on both the left and the right. And what we'll be left with will be our net ionic equation. So you can see we have two sodiums on the left and we have two sodiums on the right. We have two iodines on the left and we have two iodines on the right. Is there anything else we can cancel out? Well, I don't think so because these are ions and this is a solid salt. So here's what we have left. We have calcium on the left, sulfate on the left, and on the right we have calcium sulfate. So this would be the net ionic equation. And as you can see, a double replacement reaction really in a lot of ways is nothing more than a synthesis reaction.